So we talked about hierarchy and and you know job uh, job descriptions and and having it well defined, and then of course drafting. So what else goes into great organizations? Player involvement. I think that's very very important. Okay, so now you come down to the team, and I think one thing Jerry West used to do with myself, Magic, and Kareem, and Worthy when they were thinking about a certain player and you know, you, within the organization, everybody knows who the players they're looking at. They would bring in the players that this person may have to play with. And Kareem would always come in like, well, before we got James Worthy, Hey, we're looking at good kid, James Worthy. What do you guys think about him? And you make your comments and like that. And, and is it set in stone that the players are picking the team? No, but we're an organization. So the organization is picking the best fit for the team. So when we get out there on the play, at least you'll have, you'll, you'll kind of know if the draft becomes available and that's the player that we get, then you'll know what you're going to be going up against. And so it this, those, go ahead, it makes those meetings easy when they bring that person in that, and you get a chance to talk to them. You know, we got a chance to talk to Worthy. When you sit down in the workouts that they have, you got a chance to talk to the kid to see what he's like. And sometimes, you know what? I'm not going to say the player, but we've turned down one or two players. Yeah. We don't, we don't think he's a good fit, Jerry. That's not the type of guy. And, you know, but Jerry never brings us that one player. Jerry has, Jerry had five or six kids that were in this little fold that he had, and he's going to find like, the best player to fit for the team. You know, great leadership. Like this is one of the, the the most important parts of being a great leader is is truth to power. You know, is not thinking you know everything. Is being like, let let me ask. And and in this case, I mean, you're talking about bringing bringing somebody into the team environment. You'd be crazy not to get the okay, especially given the Showtime context of like Magic Kareem Coop. I mean, these are like you're not gonna bring the wrong. You can't bring the wrong guy into that environment. It's gonna, it's gonna backfire. So you have to get buy in, and you want to get input. And I mean, this is like. Again, covering the Spurs, the Spurs used to like. There's examples of this where it goes bad, where it's like, okay, you allow a player to make every decision within your organization. You don't want that, but you want player input. Like the Spurs would 100% go ask Tim Duncan about guys. Would 100% over the course of time go ask Tony Parker about guys or Monte Ginobili. Hey, what, we're thinking about signing this guy or trading for this guy or even drafting this guy and ask for input because players give a have going to have a much bigger buy into the organization when they feel like they're being asked important decision-making questions within the organization. For sure. And that was very big. And uh, since we're talking about the positive uh, organization, let's talk about one negative organization, okay? okay. And I only use this organization because I have laid eyes and I've heard about the LA Clippers. You know, when Donald Sterling were on this team and all the bad moves they made and never asking the players anything, players never wanted to be there. Going back to uh, the early age when they had Marcus Johnson, Bill Walton, uh, uh, Norm Nixon got traded there. You had players that didn't want to be there because the organization didn't include them into anything, but was always asking them for something. Uh, some of the stories I heard are just atrocious about the, uh, a player would come in and he played a game and they would get them the next day to go out and speak at a community. You know, you don't do things like that. And that leaves a sour taste in players' mouth. 